Torian Prince was a former LIU Brooklyn commit that was ranked 188th in his class. If Quincy Miller had not flipped on his decision to return to Baylor, Prince would have never ended up as a Bear. Thank goodness he did, because he's our pick for small forward of the decade. Prince's freshman year was a little scary. He scored 18 total points in Big 12 play, and he had 13 games where he didn't even play. But Prince flashed potential. While Baylor's 2012 class featured 5-star Isaiah Austin and 4-star LJ Rose, Prince flashed a few moments that showed he could end up being the best member of that star-studded recruiting class. Prince's sophomore season was another year of the unknown. Sometimes he was Torian Prince, other days he was Torian Waller Prince. Some days he was dominant like his 23-point outing on just 10 shots against TCU, and some days he was terrible like his 2-point, two 2-turnover two game against Kansas. Hope became reality for Torian Prince during his junior season. He won Big 12 Sixth Man of the Year. He finished second in Ken Palm's Big 12 Player of the Year rankings. He took control of the offense, leading all Big 12 players in usage rate during conference play. Prince finished top 10 in the Big 12 in offensive rating, effective field goal percentage, steal rate, and two-point percentage. After attempting just 45 three-point shots combined during his freshman and sophomore seasons, Prince hit 40% of his 147 attempts during his junior season. He became a strong teammate, willing to come off the bench and mixing between small forward and power forward. His shifting positions helped Baylor go 3-0 against West Virginia and helped Baylor sweep Iowa State. The Bears were the only team to beat Iowa State in Ames in 2015, and they wouldn't have done it without Prince hitting four timely triples in Ames. Prince's defense was also impressive as he was a lockdown wing defender. The Bears had their most efficient defense in the 18 seasons of the Ken Palm era with Prince's timely steals and ability to contest even the Big 12's best shot makers. After an impressive junior season, Prince elected to return for his senior campaign. He was spectacular again. Prince made the All-Big 12 second team as a junior, and he made the All-Big 12 first team as a senior. With Royce O'Neal and Kenny Cherry gone, Prince became the focal point of Baylor's offense. He attempted 80 more shots his senior season and maintained impressive efficiency. A graduate of Earl Warren High School, Prince emulated the former Chief Justice by taking control. He got to the line 143 times his senior season, compared to 98 attempts as a junior and he upped his free throw percentage from 64% as a junior to 77% as a senior. Prince also became a much better facilitator. He notched nine assists against Savannah State, and he had at least one in every Big 12 game. Prince's fame came from scoring. Despite Baylor's slower pace that season, he had six games of at least 25 points. He increased his off-the-dribble game, too. During his junior season, only 11% of his threes were unassisted, but he nearly doubled that number, hitting 19% of his threes without any help that season. He also continued his streak as a lockdown defender, matching up with some of the Big 12's best talent without Royce O'Neal around to help him, and he was able to help Baylor in some of the toughest games they would have on their schedule against teams that seemed just a little bit too talented for the Bears throughout that campaign. When Baylor didn't have a go-to offensive option some days, he was the one they could turn to, making alley-oops against teams to make Iowa State go home sad, and to make Texas realize that no matter who they recruited, they didn't have someone as good as Torian Waller-Prince. And perhaps most importantly, he gave us the soundbite of the decade. Yale out-rebound Baylor. Um, you go up and grab the ball off the rim when it comes off, and then you grab it with two hands. You come down with it, and that's considered a rebound. So they got more of those. Prince had a magnificent career. Baylor made the NCAA tournament the three seasons he was in the rotation. Only three teams won Ames, Iowa during Prince's junior and senior seasons. Two of those teams were Prince's Bears. He was Baylor's best player in both 2015 and 2016. He was homeless in the first decade of the 21st century, and before the second decade ended, he made himself a multi-millionaire playing basketball, and he's our pick for Baylor's small forward of the decade.